Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me here on the Dahlia Society. My name's Kristen and I'm here to hopefully inspire you with what I've been up to. A lot of my viewers have been asking me about A0 printing. Now, of course, I know a lot of you already know how to do that. Um, most of the viewers would have already used PDF patterns before, printed them out at home on the A4 sheets and stuck them all together. Uh, I know a lot of you love your big four patterns as well, but many of my viewers uh, have not tackled PDF patterns or are just starting off with indie patterns as well. So A0 printing is a wonderful way to use indie patterns if you don't want to be putting them together yourself and you find that too tedious, or maybe you just feel like spoiling yourself and getting the pattern already on a big planned format, because essentially that's what A0 is. It is on a big planned format piece of paper if you're lucky enough to get a pattern which most of them are uh, size now you'll find you'll get your whole size range there and you want to use uh, without cutting that pattern up and you want to be able to trace off patterns that is a fantastic way to get the a0 plan sent out to you and then essentially just trace off and have that size ready to use. If you're like me and you are really lazy and hate tracing because I hate tracing, I will do it, particularly if a pattern is um, on my daughter's patterns and she loves the assembly line patterns and they're not cheap to buy. That If you wanna keep that and use it and have it all beautiful and brand new and factory folded, that is a great way to actually just trace that off. Uh, that's one time I'll do that. But if it is A0, plan printing I usually just cut straight into it because I know I can always print another one out if I happen to go up or down a size if I go down a size that's fine I can always cut out that smaller size I'm going to show you all how to do that particularly here in Australia we mainly have office works which is a printing and stationery store at the moment in lockdown here in Melbourne yes we're still in lockdown I find that the delivery service is fantastic and I if I if I order my A0 plan patterns I will get them within a matter of days and I am in an outer metro region which is you could be classed as regional and for $5.95 I can get that delivered by via courier and yeah, it's great service or if you are in a vicinity of an office works you can always do a click and collect and if you are lucky enough to have your stores open or be out of lockdown you can always email them through your patterns that you want printed out and they can do that you can go and collect them uh, but i find the online ordering just works so well so convenient and for the price it's uh, really well worth it if you have a pattern that is really really large uh, they will charge you per sheet so not per pattern so for example I'm going to show you the March pattern by Helen's Claws. I think it's two pages. So I think it cost me about $8.40. So what I'll do, I'll tend to save up the patterns that I get and then I'll do them all in one order. And that way I'll save on uh, my postage or delivery fee because it can get quite expensive if you're just doing one pattern at a time, if you just get charged that delivery fee each time. So I'm going to show you a bit of pre-recorded uh, footage of me going through and showing you exactly how I order my A0 patterns. So here we are on the Office Works website. This is for the Aussie viewers. I'm not sure if you guys in New Zealand have Office Works. I'm uh, assuming that you do. Um, but if not, yeah, the, a lot of my viewers are wanting to know how to print out A0 patterns. And this is the way I use it. I make it an account on Officeworks for all your details that you can log into. And that way it will save anything you upload in your cart for next time. So firstly, we want to go to the print copy section and then you will need to scroll down until you find your plans not posters uh not cards you need to go to plans okay so we'll click on that section here plan section then we'll go down to the plans on here and we'll view the options that you need we need to get a zero size for our patterns for indie patterns to be printed and then you need to click create. Now sometimes it can be quite temperamental with or this particular website with certain pattern companies. Uh, I find that 99% of the time it's fine, but sometimes you'll get a pattern that just doesn't want to upload. Um, so we need to click upload design. 
and then it will either tell us to uh, drag a file in, which you can do it that way, or you can choose a file from your download. So I'm going to do choose file. And then I'm going to look at my downloads here. And in particular, I want the March dress. Uh, okay, it'll be here. March dress. You need the A0 or copy shop particular pattern size, not the not the PDF A4. You need the A0 or copy shop. And then you press open. And I don't bother with printing instructions out. I'll keep them all on my Google Drive or in um, the computer. That way that I can look back the screen and uh, saves a lot of paper and it just keeps everything in order. It can take a little while to upload a file so don't be concerned if you see the, um, the little circle there thinking away and it will also work out how many pages it needs per pattern so you know some patterns can be one page some patterns can be three or four depending on how big it is. This particular March pattern is two pages so you can check there's page one and there's page two and it gives a lot of information on there as well. Then we need to go over to your second step. So you've uploaded your design, and then at step two is your printing options. So you need black and white or color. I always choose black and white, it's a lot cheaper. And then you need to do step three. I always choose the more economical version, which is the PDGSM. I don't bother with the thicker paper. Step four, finishing options. Well, I don't want laminate, so I just choose no laminate. Step five is your summary. So that just shows you you've got two pages of A0 size. You can put a project name in there. So I might put Helen's Closet or March Pattern. So that way you'll remember. And then you need to add that to your cart. And I will show you the cart in the checkout section I'll show you here the total price and the patterns the march pattern in there now if you know anywhere here in australia that is a great service that's great price and also fantastic delivery please let me know either by writing in the comments below because i know a lot of the viewers do read other comments or by emailing me would be fantastic as well and also write the country that you're in and where you get your printing done and where you find great service because i think it's just so nice to share that kind of information information uh, makes it a lot easier for viewers to then go ahead and pick and choose what they wish uh, especially over in New Zealand as well I'd love you guys to let me know where you get your A0 patterns printed out so I have had a little bit of a pattern splurge. I noticed there is still the Style Arc um, discount going till the 28th of September. So if you haven't done that, go ahead and look at this sale. You just need to click on that little code when you go through the checkout, but you need to spend $25 to get 25% off. So I decided to go ahead and pick out a couple of new patterns because I can't resist style pattern of course now let me see the ones that I have chosen are ones that I've been eyeing off for quite some time the first one is a brand new pattern called the Kenny woven shirt now it has that beautiful Peter Pan collar it's a really lovely style blouse it's not too overstated the uh, collar is just enough for me I didn't want a really big one I love that Nina Lee Bakerly blouse on a lot of people it looks stunning but it's just maybe a bit tad big for me the collar I'm still kind of branching out into that um, that look but I really like the look of that and I think particularly how they've done it with a beautiful voil style fabric soft and muted tones I think it could work really well I'm thinking of either using a lovely like a Swiss dot Dobby fabric I know that darn cheap fabrics have some beautiful ones on their website as well so I will show you the line drawings of that but I think that is going to come up beautiful I'm really excited to be making some more blouses heading into spring the other one that I've been eyeing off for quite some time. I've seen a lot of people say how much they've loved making it and it's a trapeze style blouse overshirt. It's called the Martha overshirt. Now in particular there is one lady who has made one with uh, the inserts of the lace on the back where the shoulder panel is and she's used a different fabric for the front that looks stunning as well. I just think it's really unusual and different um, but I want to just kind of a yeah trapeze or overshirt style but not just a classic long sleeve shirt. I think that the style in that looks really nice and I'm really excited to make that up. The pleating at the back detail looks really lovely as well. The other A0 pattern that I've just 
bought it as well, is a free pattern. It's called the Milton Pinafore Pattern. Now this, you would have noticed, is in the Peppermint Magazine. It's a lovely style pinafore. It's a really classic and elegant and lovely shape. Uh, this is actually done by um, the Just Patterns Pattern Company. They, they love to collab with different pattern companies. And the Milton Pinafore is, if you know the Just Patterns, is the classic style wrap kind of dress that everyone's been making uh, just this last season. It looked beautiful. This is the same pattern designer. So any wonder the shaping just reminded me, it's just this lovely, gives a lovely shape and silhouette to whoever I've seen wearing it. And that can be made in a nice, uh, either a drill, denim, chambray or a cotton. So I need to go through my stash and I'm sure there'll be some kind of fabric in there. Even a linen would be lovely for summer, but a lovely soft chambray might be really classic and really simple to wear, maybe with a little striped t-shirt underneath for summer and some little uh, Converse trainer style shoes. So that is coming in the mail and I'll be making that up. And I also, while I was on the free pattern bandwagon, I also ordered the um, Paddington top. Everyone's made that on uh, YouTube and loved it. So I thought I would order that and have it ready to go as well while I was ordering other patterns. And some more bird calls. I know a lot of you are loving the uh, talk about a native bird that we have around here. One of my one of my twin daughters, Charlotte, is really into bird watching and bird calls lately. She's been studying it quite a, a little bit in the last few weeks. Being in lockdown, it's one of those things that you notice that if everything's still and quiet, you tend to hear less road noise and traffic, neighbours, and you concentrate more on the wildlife and bird noises. So I just love hearing that. But I'm going to link that little website so you guys can go ahead and do that. If you're interested in hearing what bird calls uh, are for which birds, it's a really good way of teaching a bit of education with birds. I just think there's just so many species there and we really know very little, not personally, I know, I know very little about a lot of the bird calls and matching up the bird species, but yeah, it's really interesting, isn't it? The next pattern I've ordered is the March. You would have seen in that video. The March by Helen's Closet is a lovely blouse as well as a dress. Now, I'm not overly keen on a lot of gathering, so I'm thinking the blouse with the straight style bottom is going to be the one I'm going to go for. The next pattern that I just ordered now on Makerist, they have a little bit of a um, pattern designer sale with certain patterns going uh, at a discount rate. So Makerist is kind of like a website that encourages um, indie creators and indie pattern designers to pop their patterns on as a, like a kind of like a one-stop shop and you can really look at all the different pattern creators on there selling their patterns. So this is by uh, by Kate Patterns Sewing Pattern. Um, this puff sleeve, I think it's called Lisa Dress, is one that I've been eyeing off for quite some time and I just love that. The only thing I must say that kind of confused me a little bit was the sizing. Uh, when you did when I did an A0 printout for that, it just comes in like single sizes, so it doesn't come in that kind of scaled uh, all in one on one plan. So if you you know you need to look at what size you need and print that pattern out and kind of make doubly sure, especially around the bust area, that it's going to fit you properly. What I did, I looked at the pattern finished pattern measurements, and it said that the bust and hip area had ten centimeters of ease, whereas the waist had. 30 centimeters of ease so you're going to need to look at your um, bust and hip measurement to work that out because you've got a lot of uh, ease around the waist it's not as important that pattern was on sale i nabbed that one that was a really good buy and also the named pattern company Valo dress is one that i've been looking at for quite some time you would have... i love that beautiful sweetheart neckline and the two-tone effect i'm going to make that with some gorgeous linen i uh, really love that and love the top as well but I just like the styling uh, line details in that valet dress and it's just a matter of finding the right type of coloured linen two-tone effect. I've seen a lot of people do it in patterned as well. It's another option if you had maybe two different prints like a large gingham, small gingham or maybe a, a floral and a stripe that would work really well as well. So it just depends on your imagination and what you want to put in, what you want to get out of the dress. But I love just that simple classic linen look to the dress. Really pretty style with that cinched in waist. I'm very excited to make that one. The other one is the new release from the Sewing Revival. The wingspan top, I've just uh, ordered that to be printed out as well. Beautiful uh, grown on uh, kimono style sleeve. Very simple uh, two piece pattern there. And you've just got your binding to do all your um, you, you seam around the neck but it looks like it's a really simple uh 
simple sheath style it's like a boho style top uh, it can be made in like especially in chiffons and light drapey soft even sheer fabric or even a lightweight knit they said you could do it in too so that looked like a really simple top and I'm really excited to see that one made up because I love the sewing revivals patterns and of course the heron blouse is a favorite uh, sewing revival pattern of mine now what I'm working on at the moment I am actually working on the Leela slip dress I'm making the top version in that and I actually might even consider making the cami to go underneath it because the fabric that I'm using is the beautiful Lady McElroy fabric from Fabric Hunt you'll notice that beautiful bright retro style fabric now I really was desperate to have a retro a retro style blouse to go with it and I considered the Varley by Pattern Fantastic love that too but really wanted to make this in the, I love the dress in this I made that last year loved it and I wanted to make the top version I could wear over maybe a pair of jeans with that cami underneath so just cut the pattern out it's ready to sew up so hopefully I'll have that ready for my September make which is coming this week Another thing I just received in the mail was my pattern to the vintage pattern I uh, got from Etsy, which was the vintage sh long shirt style dress. Excuse the mower the neighbours using over there. Uh, it's just always a way you come out in a beautiful Sunday afternoon and of course everyone's out in the sunshine and they want to do their gardening. It's always when you're filming they decide to make the noise so I apologise about that. Um, but yeah, so that dress looks like it'll be really lovely. I love the long maxi style. I just... I don't know it's going to be one of those things that I'm, I'm going to make it up in some fabric that I had in my stash for a while get the fit right muck around with the shaping and see what the collar's like because you can't always tell by a lot of these vintage style pictures how they're going to look on the body till you get them on and have a play around and see so but I'm open for a bit of a bit of experimentation with these vintage patterns and a lot of you guys have said you know, have you watched um Sean from Kittenish Behaviour yes I do I love watching Sean I love watching Sean's um episodes on inspiration as well when she gets uh, maybe designer brand clothing that's really expensive and she'll find a matching pattern so that is what I love watching from her and also Viv from Viv Mum Sews I love watching her because she's just an amazing uh, accomplished sewist that constantly I find inspiration and I always find that she's always making and always um, finding kind of the inspo in a lot of the vintage patterns which I really love but brings it into her day-to-day -day wear as well so I just think she's uh, yeah she's amazing so I love watching her too. Next thing I uh, decided to get was some beautiful fabric I had from Cloth Edit some lovely silk rayon fabric and I decided to order a shirt pattern dress that will I think complement this really really nicely and I also ordered this I treated myself to a paper pattern from Cloth Edit as well. Now Gabrielle has a lot of uh, really lovely uh, indie pattern designers there on her website and her service and wrapping is just divine you always get the cute little tea bag and uh, you get that beautiful um, tape measure ribbon as well so it, it is definitely a treat if you're ordering from Gabriella cloth in it you won't regret it it's definitely like uh yeah getting a wonderful present in the mail but I've gone for the named Rita shirt dress and really excited to see that one made up I love the fact that you can have that drawstring waist so you haven't got the fitting issues there if you want to you know let it out or bring it in you can do that and I just think that will complement that fabric really really nicely as well so named patterns are always beautiful patterns to keep in your pattern stash there too so that was from Cloth Edit and whilst uh, Gabrielle had sent me um, these lovely things in the mail I ordered this pattern from her I actually uh, found another little surprise she sent me with some fabric samples now she has a brand new release for her spring summer range and Cloth Edit always gives beautiful fabric samples on the card now this lovely fabric is called Positano now it actually sold out within uh, I think within the first day that she advertised for her subscribers so if you are a subscriber to her newsletter you will get to know when the fabric's released and this was a beautiful linen blend now straight away it reminded me and, and Gabrielle of that Dolce Gabbana style print that is just so lovely with all that leopard print and the roses and the patterns bright um, really lovely it will be for spring and summer she will always give you a little card with little swatches i think it's just so lovely to have but 
had to order some of that because I could not resist. It was just too beautiful. Gabrielle is taking pre-orders for that new Positano fabric. If you hop on her website, you see it's sold out, but she's taking more orders for that. So I definitely, I wouldn't leave it too long. Think about jumping on and ordering some of that because it will be snapped up before you know it. And there was also another release she had out, especially uh, she let her subscribers, or newsletter subscribers know that it was released on Friday. And it's a gorgeous Japanese cotton called Wonderland. Now this is a standout, stunning print and it is in, sold in panels. I think they're 75 centimeter long panels, but I decided to order some of that too because I could just see that in a tunic style. Uh, longer top or dress for spring summer because I'm really really keen on seeing how that will come up I've got a few ideas what I'm going to do with that and a few ideas with this as well but this will have to wait until that fabric comes and I'll show you how beautiful it looks but she also has this uh, amazing range of um, fabrics that are silk and linen which is exactly what that fabric um, the blue fabric is a linen silk blend and You'll see the different varieties she's got there. They're all named after Queensland places. So you've got Noosa, you've got Mount Tambourine, you've got Ely Beach. That I think is absolutely stunning. And the green as well. And the blue. But it feels so much softer than a linen, but not as fine as a silk. So they've got that blend just right there. But I love the silk linen blends and I just wish I could have one of every colorway. I definitely would, uh, can imagine wearing that through a hot, hot, warm weather, how cool and lovely that would feel against the skin. So I hope you have got something, some sort of inspiration out of that episode today. Just a brief catch up. I know a lot of you are loving these brief catch ups and seeing what I'm sewing because I'm really desperate to show you my makes. I'm in the middle of finishing a couple of things off and then it's all about doing the photography in the video so you guys can see exactly what I've made and some close up shots because I like to be able to show and present that in an episode and you can see exactly what I've been sewing and what's kept me going during the month. So um. What else have I got to tell you? Um, also a brand new pattern release episode is coming out for the month of October. There's been a lot of new releases, so that will be hopefully uh, coming in the following week as well. So yeah, lots to keep you and I busy there sewing. A big thank you to everyone who has donated to my coffee account as well. Uh, I really, really appreciate every single donation that comes in does help go towards the channel and to bring you guys extra content if there's anything you'd like to see me do i'm very open to some suggestions as well just write them in the comments below and a lot of you have also asked about how do you see the description box if you're watching it on a device or on a laptop there is a little click down arrow button and once you click down that little triangle it'll open up the description box everything i speak about i will link that's patterns fabrics even if the fabric's sold out i will also also link that so you can see where I've purchased it from as well so I think that way it's good because you can go on um, for reference sake it saves you having to take notes and things like that so yeah hopefully you're all doing really well and we'll catch up very shortly for another new episode from the Dahlia Society don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications for when new episodes come out and a thumbs up would be amazing too so keep safe and keep sewing and we'll see you soon bye for now